So if you are not a spiritual person, you need to kill the flesh. And this is where there is a lot of confusion. When we talk about killing the flesh, people does not understand. The point of meeting God in your body is not your brain. It's in your heart. Your heart. And the spiritual heart of a man is not here. It's in the womb. That's why everything is in your stomach. It's in your belly. Out of the heart, the belly of they who believe shall flow rivers. So many of us, we are still in brain. We reason through brain, we do things through brain. It's until you drop from brain to your mind. As a man thinketh, so he is. So if you are not a spiritual person, you need to kill flesh today and stop obeying it. There are people who are so obedient to their flesh. And let me tell you, do you know your flesh is very selfish? Can I prove this? When you woke up in the morning, your teeth demanded your brushing. And you have no option but to obey. This body is so selfish. The flesh. Your body demanded breakfast. Maybe. Your body demanded to bath. You have to bath your body. Your body demanded, your legs demanded you put the shoes. <laughs> the selfishness of the flesh. So it's until you get the full control of the flesh that you get to a place whereby you can please the master, you can please God. Because if you have given up fighting the flesh, you are sending yourself into the domination. Be not transformed the things of this world, but be renewed in your mind. David prayed and said, Create in me a new heart and renew thy spirit in me. So the faith God is looking for, it's not the faith that comes because he helped or rewarded or blessed us. The faith is looking for is the faith that continues to trust and love God.